Hi, it's Corey, and I'm here today at the Bristow Academy in Titusville, Florida, and I'm here today for a helicopter flight. I'm here with my pilot, Martin, and um, can you tell me a little bit about the Bristow Academy and what you guys do here? Yeah, so here at Bristow Academy, we train initial pilots all the way from knowing nothing about helicopters to flying helicopters commercially all over the world, pretty much. We have two different kind of helicopters, the big one here, which most students go up to later in the course, and then we have a smaller helicopter over at the other side of the ramp. Very cool. And um, where are we going to be heading out to today? We will be heading out to what we as pilot call KTTS, which is the NASA landing facility just on the other side of the river here from Space Coast. Very cool. I'm super excited. What do you say? Let's get going? Yeah, let's get going. Thanks. So this here is the engine where we have it. It's a six cylinder uh, engine. Here we have this is to drain the fuel before each flight. Mm -hmm. We just check that everything is okay and there's no water contaminant in the fuel. We have the main gearbox in here. It can be quite hard to see because this is a fuel tank yeah. sitting there. Here, this is uh, our hydraulic reservoir. So it basically makes it a lot easier for us to move the controls because they are hydraulic assisted. Great. And here we have the clutch to this one. We engage so the engine can start without turning the rotors because else it would be too hard for the engine to start. Mm -hmm. But it also has it has something called an overrunning clutch. So if the engine fails, it allows to the rotors to spin even without the engine running. Very cool. So the, it, the rotors can overspin the engine, but the engine cannot overspin the rotors. Mm -hmm. and then we have some control rods that goes from our pedals. If you look inside there, you can see the pedals moving when I pull this one. And that goes down to control our tail rotor down there, so you can see the tail rotor plates are moving. Our tail rotor, as I said, we just controlled it. The rod comes out here, the one we just looked at, and controlled the pits of the tail rotor plate. Misconception is usually to, for example, to take pick up or set down, mm -hmm. we alter rotor RPM. But actually, the rotor RPM stays fairly constant. What we alter on the blades is the pits of the blades, both of the main rotor blades and the tail rotor blades. Oh, really? So the speed stays fairly constant all the time. Here it's around 400 RPM, mm -hmm. and this one is around 3000 RPM. And it stays there, but we just alter the pitch to create more or less lift.
So I just finished up my flight here today at the Bristow Academy, and man, what a great experience it was. Uh, Martin, an uh, awesome pilot, uh, very informative, got to learn a lot about the school and what they do here, and um, what an amazing experience to be, over to, to be able to fly over the shuttle landing facility. I've been a big fan of the space program my whole life, and to be able to take that same approach that um, all those space shuttle flights took as they came in and landed back here at home is just a, it's an incredible experience. So I'd highly recommend checking out the Bristow Academy. Come up here and, uh, and get a flight. Thanks for watching.